No secret, the coronavirus has taken an economic toll on us. And with so many people out of work, credit card debt has spiked. A new survey from creditcard.com indicates 47% of American adults are carrying credit card debt. That's about 120 million people. That's up 43% from early March. And the reality is it's become a lot harder to make ends meet and people are turning to their credit cards. So we're turning to Lee Kendrick, a credit expert and the founder of Credit U Turn for some help on managing that debt. Hey, welcome to the morning show. Thank you for having me on. Look, advice used to be don't use your credit cards, but now if you have to, you gotta do what you've gotta do, but two months in and people are skipping their payments to make ends meet. Should you go to the credit card issuer first and ask for a break if you have to? Absolutely, uh, and that holds true for mortgage lenders as well as automotive lenders. Don't procrastinate, reach out to them immediately. Now you do have some options, forbearance or deferment. So what's the difference between the two and which is more favorable? Um, for the most part, when it comes to credit card uh, lenders, uh, forbearance uh, really isn't the same as it uh, uh, is for like student loan borrowers. Uh, however, uh, due to the CARES Act, they do have a forbearance clause within that uh, legislation. And whenever you reach out to your uh, credit card vendors, you need to make sure that you understand whether or not they're talking about a deferment option or a forbearance option. Whenever you enter into a forbearance, you're still responsible for repaying accumulating interest as well as potential um, other fees that they're charging. So what, what's the difference between the two? So the difference between the two, deferment is always your better option uh, just because you're not having to pay additional fees as well as additional accumulating interest charges. Uh, forbearance is usually a very short-term option. Forbearance can often also lead into other financial quizzes about whether or not you're actually capable of repayment and could potentially uh, cause them to lower your credit limits. Does one have more of an impact on your credit score than another? Uh, forbearance uh, certainly can just because forbearance, whenever you're accumulating those additional fees and interest that can actually affect your utilization ratios because those uh, balances are increasing. Here's the other problem. Credit card companies are slashing credit card limits and you don't get a warning. Mm -hmm. Yes, and uh, you know, the, again, you need to be proactive uh, whenever it comes to that. So uh, one of the first things I always recommend is, is look at what all of your available options are, your own resources, if you do have some additional resources, whether you're tapping into uh, money that you would normally reserve for investment strategies, uh, whether it's 401ks, IRAs, or you've got money on stocks, bonds, or or you just have a family member or you've got a relationship with a lender that can help you um, pay down those balances. Because whenever you pay down those balances, you're eliminating your uh, the risk to those credit card vendors. And those credit card vendors are less likely to lower your credit limits whenever you are able to pay those balances down and you're demonstrating that the uh, uh, current uh, pandemic is not affecting you. So at one point you may have to do something to repair your credit scores. So what's a safe way to, to do that? I think that's where credit U-turn comes in. Sure. Uh, so you have rights underneath of the Fair Credit Reporting Act, as well as some other laws like the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act, uh, Fair Billing Act, and uh, the Old Card Act. And uh, you need to be able to exercise those rights. However, a uh, typical consumer isn't really equipped to handle that. You uh, already have expertise in other areas of your life. And oftentimes it's uh, smart to rely upon somebody who does have expertise, whether you're uh, needing legal advice or you're needing medical advice. Same thing holds true whenever it comes to your credit. So we uh, provide a service, uh, unlike some other credit repair companies out there, that instead of charging you expensive credit repair fees, you can automate the process uh, by just subscribing to our credit monitoring and assist you with your disputes and, and helps you fight for your rights. And people can get in touch with you, but uh, what, what's the best way? Uh, they just go to credituturn.com or you can go to your app store, either on Apple or uh, the Google Play Store and download the Credit U-Turn app. And uh, it's a really simple process. A fifth grader can use it. All right, Lee, thanks very much. You have a great day.